the purpose of this short video is to show you how to use our uh, Dakota line dip. And my name is Mark Stack and I developed this. I worked on it a long time. Um, and it took me seven years to get it right. I gave up a couple times. And it always worked good on traps, but I couldn't get it to work on snares. And um, I mean, I could go into detail about everything I tried with this product. And, um, but it would just bore you. And so what I want to get across today is exactly how to use this because I think you'll, you'll find it a really good product. Um, this, the, the, the product comes in earth tone black. I purposely didn't uh, want it jet black. Actually, I originally did and then I changed my mind. You'll see uh, this, is, this is one here done in earth tone black. And it, it kind of hit me, why, why do people want it jet black? Some people do, but it's tradition. And if you're water trapping, this will uh, blend in a lot, a lot better than jet black in most cases. It also comes in brown, and it comes in tan. So you got three choices. One of the keys of this product is to stir it up good. Um, you also do not want it to freeze. I've stirred this up in the bucket. We we use a drill. We dye a lot of snares here at Dakota Line. And uh, so I, we use a drill with one of those paint sticks on it that stirs it up, and so it's in good shape today. Now, one of the, one of the keys of, of any type of, of trap die is that you have to have something for the die to grab onto. In this case, the snares are, are kind of tricky. We're going to do traps first. Um, this is a trap that I would say is not seasoned. This will take a die, but the, the rust is active. I use this for about a week muskrat trap in the spring. And um, if you've got active rust, you're going to have to die it two, three times, or the rust is going to come through. This here is a seasoned trap. This is an older trap. It's caught coon, probably caught mink and it's seasoned, so that rust really is not active anymore. There's just kind of a coating of oxi oxidization there. Um, this is going to take a great dye. This is a trap here. I died last uh, over a year ago. It hung on my fence, and I just bring this to show you that um, if your trap is not actively rusting, it'll hold the die very well. If you have a trap that's actively rusting, it'll come through the wax. It'll come through speed dip. It'll come through um, logwood die. About anything out there, and so the key is is that it's not actively rusting. This is so simple. I mean, it just beats the crap out of uh, boiling traps. And I'm going to tell you what I do with my traps, my water traps. I don't boil them. I don't do anything. Um, some years I dye them. Some years I don't. My canine traps, I throw them in a stream, a moving stream. That cleans them as good as anything you're going to find. And then I dye them in this. And I consider this odorless. Now, if you were to ask a coyote is it odorless, I don't know what they would say, but this product is considered odorless. Okay, this is a trap that, 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 as I said, it has some active rust. It's just been used for about one week, and we'll just dip it in here. I don't have anything to hang this on, but typically I'll hang them and let them just let them drip. Your dip will go a lot farther if you can drip them back into the pool. How long does it take for that dip to dry? It depends on the day, but typically uh, that, that trap's going to be ready to go in 24 hours, probably less. This is the seasoned trap. 
the one that's caught plenty of critters in its uh, lifetime. Who knows what this trap would tell you if it could talk. I'm sure I didn't buy it new. One dip in this case is, is my preference. I'm gonna back up just a hair and tell you how we mix this. We take one part, in this case one quart of dip, and one and a half quarts of water. You can mix it, you can dilute it a little more if you want, uh, but I wouldn't go any less than that. Um, and so, if, as far as eco economy goes, you aren't putting gas or, or white gas in here. Um, the dip is very economical in the long run compared to wax and dyes and speed dip. Now you can dip your traps a couple times if you want. Here's a trap that was dipped uh, and this is another one that's been hanging on the fence. And um, it really doesn't need this, but if you want, you can dip it a second time. And you're going to have a really nice finish on that. Now there's a couple factors that come into play. And they're really important when it comes to snares. But uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna try this dip on a hot day, it, it it won't work as good on traps. It'll still work, but on snares, it's just gonna run right off. The snares will not take a dye on a hot, humid day. And so what you're looking for, and we dye most of our snares inside in a controlled environment. The snares that we sell to the public. Um, but on these, uh, today it's probably 73, 74 out. You want the dip at a, at a good temperature, 70 degrees is ideal. You want the air temperature, ideally 70. If, you know, you may find some variance. And you don't want a real humid day. So on snares, we loosen them up. I, I recommend you do it one at a time, but you can, you can do it this way too. You get it nice and loose, and um, we'll just dip part of them here. If you want to do a little close up here, you can see that uh, we got them halfway dyed here. They take a nice dye today. If it was a really hot day out, they wouldn't take a dye at all. They just run off them. The stuff gets running. And uh, this color, I just love this color on snares. Now some guys like brown, but I like this gray color. We'll go ahead and dip them a little deeper. Now one of the keys when you dip your snares, you don't want to touch the edge of your bucket. You don't want any crust on these snares because it's going to slow them down. And so don't touch the edge where you got some caked up. We'll go ahead and dip dip the rest here. I'll try not to get my hands in there. Oops. Well, I did get my hands in there. And then we normally will just hang them on a nail and let them drip down. Um, but that's that's all there is to dipping these snares. But that's really all there is to using this dip. It is very simple. And I contend that a guy should not have to spend all day preparing traps, pre preparing a couple dozen traps to run. I mean, it should, shouldn't be that hard, and, and with this system, it's not. So thanks a lot for buying it.